So this is Ruth with Simply Sustainable Family. And one of the sources of food that gets overlooked a lot when we're thinking about healthy things to eat is what's growing in our own yards. So fresh dandelion greens are one of my favorite things to feed my family in the springtime. And of course, this is if you're not spreading pesticides and stuff on your lawn like that. If you are, then this isn't for you. But we do not put anything on our lawn other than some natural chicken manure when we're moving the chicken tractor around. So this ends up being a great source of good nutrients for our family and it's free and they taste pretty awesome. I know a lot of people end up only liking them first thing in the spring when the flowers haven't shown up. Um, it does, they do have a little bit more of a bitter taste once the flowers have shown up, but I find if I'm cooking them for more of like a collard greens type of effect, it doesn't really matter. Um, if you're using them for fresh salads, you may want to do it before the blossoms come off. So I just take a cheap knife that my husband has nice and sharp for me. And Warren, I'll have you come over here so you can see. I'm rubbing my hair and my beard and my hair. <laughs> and you basically just pull the plant back to where you can have access at the root. Stick your knife right into the soil down probably about a quarter of an inch past the ground level and just cut it right off. And the whole plant will come right out like that. And then when you take it inside, you can either wash them if you want to, or since I'm not worried about anything that's out here, I just take my kitchen shears and whack them off right at about that level and throw these right into the pan. The only thing I will say is that um, certain bugs, especially slugs, really do like the taste of dandelion greens as much as I do. So I do take a brief look through the leaves just to make sure that we're not getting some unwanted extra protein in the meal. But yeah, that's how you gather them. You gather as much as you want. They will cook down just like if you're cooking any other greens. So gather a larger amount than you would initially think that you're going to need. And I will show you how to cook them.
So this is about the texture that you're looking for, where it's nice and wilted, but nothing's been cooked to death. And you can see all the little buds are all wilted. So I'm gonna turn the heat off. And I use a raw, unfiltered apple cider vinegar, so I'm gonna shake that up. And we're gonna do about a third of a cup. And just pour that all over it. And we like our greens pretty salty. So we're gonna do about a tablespoon. Yeah, scratch that, about a half a tablespoon on that amount. looks like a lot but I don't know I find especially during the spring when we're just getting ready to the um, getting used to the warm weather and everything that we really like to stock up on our electrolytes and it just feels like it satisfies some craving that we're having just toss that all in there make sure that it's all mixed in And that should be good to go. And then I typically serve them with a fork, just like that. So that way you don't have all that juice slopping around on your plate. Rain on your shirt. Daddy must have fed you lunch. You're wearing half of it. Oh, don't eat it.